Wake up! Wake up! Wake up! Wake up! Wake up! It's time to rise and sing the praise of Jesus! Alleluia! Alleluia! It's time to rise, to rise, to sing, to, sing, to, shout, to shout, to bring him all your heart. He'll do it. Do you want to know in seven minutes how goodness tamed a jungle-based wild lion? Well, that will be your online evangelists, Brother Noy Gonzaga's focus of the moment commence our seven minutes with God. Let us begin this inspirational devotional with a verse found in Proverbs 3.27. Do not withhold goodness from those who deserve it when it is in your power to act. This is a very beautiful biblical gem. Why? Because during those times, you have an opportunity to reflect and impose the image of God and in your people, they can see the goodness of the living Savior that is one of the greatest, very sincere, personal witnessing that you can do for your life and for the greatness of God. This moment, let me trek with you through one of the hidden jungles in the world. In this jungle, there is a great lion. Often, this lion is considered beastly as it was feared not only for its size but for its astounding appearance and dominance. Andy, a great jungle trekker, often see this lion from afar and marveled upon this great creature of God. While it's often that Andy is seeing the lion from afar and not the other way around for this will smell danger if the lion will see Andy. However, one day, as Andy noticed that the lion was nowhere to be found, Andy looked and searched for this great beast. The time and place where he viewed that lion always seemed to be blank and that made this Routine distorted. So he tried to take a little rest by sitting through a great stone. Moments later, Andy heard a sound that resembles a great beast in pain, a yawning, a howling with great ache. It seemed like a jungle beast. Any of them might have just been greatly injured. Well, he seemed to pity more these great beasts than really feel scared of their dominion when hearing those sounds. However, a few feet away, he saw a cave and visibly envisioned a moving object from it. To his curiosity, he went near and he confirmed it was the lion he was seeing there all the time when he was trekking the woods. He spent a little time watching the beast and he found out that the beast is in great pain due to a great punctured wound at the paw of one of the limbs of the lion. And the sad thing about this is that the puncturing wood is still attached. That every movement of the lion will really cause significant sensational pain. There was a feeling of fear that the aggravated lion might not think twice in devouring him, but Andy's heart overpowered such a fear and he found himself very near the lion. Without wasting more time, Andy went directly to the lion and removed the puncturing wound and the lion stopped the painful howl. The aching feeling. That pain caused the lion to momentarily pass out. So as not to create more infections, 
unbe gathered herbs and prepared it and placed it around the wounds of the lion. Then applied pressure by knotting it with vines, enough to excrete anti-infective components of nature. The next day, Andy went back, and the sad thing is, he was not able to see the lion there again. Months passed, and the lion just disappeared. Andy, being a person who believed in God, is not someone who is welcome in their community. For they are always against such a belief that there are greater powers beyond their community king. So one day in his prayer routine, he was caught talking to God and he was arrested. And he was asked to retract on his belief to the living God and disown his faith, but this one thing or this is one thing Andy cannot do. So to protect the laws of the empire, they need to impose the greatest and heftiest penalty to Andy. That is to put him in a rodeo with a lion in a live coliseum. This is actually a punishment for hardened criminals or for people who commit treason and sedition to the kingdom. Yes, Andy, whose real name is Androcles, was scheduled to be devoured by the lion through live audience. That day came and Andy was presented to the public as a non-believer of their king, for he was or for he has other greater unseen God who is in heaven and that created laughter among the multitudes. The ceremonial presentation was over, and then the beast to devour Andy was freed from the cage. Unfeed for such a time, or quite a time, the beast came out blazing and very hangry. Let the festivities begin, the announcer said. The lion did not spare a second and went directly to Andy. However, in the instance of devouring him, the lion stepped back and encircled Andy two times and then offered a limb to him. This shocked the public for this is a first time. Andy was fearful then, but was amazed whatever is happening. Then the lion placed his limb on Andy's hand and when Andy held it, it was the wound he cured, and it was already fully cured. Yes, it was the beast that Andy is always looking for at the jungle, and one deed of goodness made the lion an eternal friend. Andy cured the lion by pulling out the wood that caused the puncture. Andy hugged the lion, and the lion lay down like a child on Andy's little lap, and there was no devouring that happened during that moment. That day, Androcles was fed together with his lion, and never was his relationship with his god questioned again in that kingdom. Why? Because even lions believed that such a relationship is really meant between a good soul and a true God. Friends, goodness is always above everything in this world. It can tame the wild, it can stop the storm, and it can halt a flood. Why? Because goodness is a reflection of God's love. Come you broken
inspiration of the story of Androclus and the goodness he afforded the wounded lion remind us that even how big at times the frailties of other people may be to us, it is not enough reason not to help these people when they are in great need. For at times, this is how goodness can tame a mighty beast. Friends, That is the 7 minutes with God today. Have a goodness filled heart everyone. Wake up, wake up. It's time to rise and sing the praise of Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah. It's time to rise. To rise, to sing, to sing, to shout, to shout, to wake up. Wake up. 